What's going on guys, it's Lone Courier here and I'm here to bring you part 6 of my Road to Gold series. Today we're going to be covering the M8A7 Assault Rifle. Now the M8A7 Assault Rifle, I'm sure you're all aware of it, it is the 4 round burst assault rifle in this game, you know there's also the other burst assault rifle, the XR2. This is the more competitive of the two. Um, chances are you're more likely to see this than an XR2 and this is more likely to be seen in like competitive as well. Not to say that like it's not used in regular like public matches, it's more just, it's, I think it's quite a, it's a heavily used weapon in the competitive scene anyway as was the M8A1 in Black Ops 2 because this is basically the natural progression of the M8A1 which is uh, well it's a bit obvious you know the name just says it all really. And uh, yeah, so this gun, it's not exactly the best, it's not as good as the M8A1 was. Uh, it was ridiculously OP in the beta, so I think they toned it down so much for the main game. Because uh, in the beta you could literally one burst someone across the entire map, but seems that you have to be uh, probably quite close to do that now. Not to say that it's impossible, you just probably have to be a little bit closer than you used to be just to get a one burst kill. But this gun, it's... It's probably not accuracy is what you're looking for. This is more just a gun that it can it can provide accurate fire. You know, if you need to just like fire off a lot of shots really quickly just to make sure an enemy dies. Like uh, if you're getting rushed, you can just quickly burst the weapon at them, which is something the XR2 can't do because the XR2 has a really really slow uh, burst delay, whereas this has like a ridiculously low burst delay, so you can literally just spray. And uh, I guess it's kind of, I'm not too sure if you could even oversample this weapon. It probably is possible. Um, I'm not too sure if oversampling is even possible with burst weapons. I may just be getting confused with semi-automatics. But yeah, this weapon, it, it's good all round. Um, I'm not, I don't use it too much to be honest with you. Um, you know, it's, it's not exactly my favourite gun and I don't really like using it anyway. So uh, I don't use it too much. I prefer the M8A1 myself, but uh, yeah, this gun's pretty good. I mean, uh, it's really good in hardcore, you know, as with every other gun, it's a one burst kill. And with how accurate it is in hardcore, well, the how accurate the first shot is, you can literally get any kill you need in hardcore. Um, another thing I quite like about this weapon is it's easy to get headshots with. Um, the weapon's natural recoil pattern will help you get the headshots. So if you aim slightly towards the chest, the recoil will slightly kick up and it will hit them in the head. And the last bullet that hits them will probably end up in a headshot, which will get you the headshot anyway. So yeah, this with high caliber is a really good weapon for headshots. Not as good as the XR2, but it's still definitely easy. Um, as with every other weapon that I've recommended, Nooktown or Chaos Mosh Pit is the map or game mode you want to play to get the headshots for this weapon. This weapon is it's fairly average, you know, it doesn't feel like too spectacularly amazing or anything. Some people can go on gigantic tours with it, but I don't really enjoy it too much. But yeah, the gameplay, it isn't with the gold M8A7. Um, I'm rather quite inconsistent with this weapon, so I just decided to use some gameplay if I have put the gameplay in there. Like, I apologise because I'm just assuming that I can find that gameplay, but this is gameplay of when I was going for a couple of the challenges, so I think I was doing the, f uh, I think it was the five attachments and an optic, I'm not too sure what a challenge it was, but yeah, I have got the M87 gold, don't worry, I have got it gold in fact, um, it's just this is probably the best gameplay that I have with the M87, I didn't really feel like going uh, to try and record an all out, like, straight up, you know, fucking insane gameplay with it because I don't really like the weapon too much. But yeah, M8A7, it's definitely a good weapon. It's, uh, it's a really competitive assault rifle as well. You can probably compete with, uh, you know, stuff like the CUDA and whatnot. Like, I'm not saying that it can compete at SMG ranges, but, you know, it can do a lot more at close range than what an average assault rifle can do because of how high the damage is at close range. But yeah, M87 is definitely a good rifle. Uh, you should probably use it as with any other weapon. Um, this is probably going to be one of the easier weapons when you're going for the gold. So yeah, in the assault rifle category, this is probably the easiest one to use. It's just so straightforward. That's 
why I don't really enjoy using it too much. It's just too easy, you know. It's uh, it kind of feels like a weapon that a lot of sweaties use. If you get me, if you get what I'm saying here, and that is, you know, whenever they're doing bad, they just pull out the M87 and then suddenly drop wraps and all that. So. I don't really like it too much myself, but some people really do love it and they swear by it. But yeah, I guess it's just subjective because I don't really like this weapon too much. Uh, some of my friends really do like it, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So this is probably one of the easiest uh, weapons to get gold. I will bring you part 7. I think it's part 7 we're on now. Um, we'll bring you the next part tomorrow. So yeah, not too sure what it's going to be. It's either going to be the Argus if I can finish it off. Or the XR2. Um, I have a slight feeling it's going to be the XR2. It just truly depends. So yeah, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's been a long career. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. You were on fire. And I'm being literally in.